Namaste guys, Rajesh here from Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to show how you can install exposed framework on your rooted Samsung Galaxy S7 or Galaxy S7 Edge. The steps shown in this video will work on both the Snapdragon and the Exynos variant of the handsets but it assumes that your device is already rooted with a custom recovery like TWRP installed. Also, this guide will work on other flagship high-end Samsung devices like the Galaxy Note 5, the Galaxy S6 Edge, the S6 Edge Plus, S6 and more. And before I show you the steps, the last thing to note here is that while installing exposed framework will not format your phone or touch your data in any way, it is still recommended that you create a backup just in case things go wrong. And in case something does go wrong, do not put the blame on me. Do drop in a comment below though and we'll help you out. So the first thing that you need to do is download the special version of exposed framework and the exposed installer apk from the link given in the description below transfer both files to the internal storage of your galaxy handset then switch off your galaxy s7 or s7 edge and proceed to boot it into recovery mode by long pressing the volume up home and power button as soon as the screen lights up you can let go of the power button and once the TWRP screen comes up, you can let go of the volume up and the home button as well. If TWRP prompts you that the system partition of your handset is unmodified, drag the slider at the bottom to allow it to make modifications. Then you should see the usual recovery options like install, wipe, backup, etc. Tap on install, select the exposed framework installation zip file and then confirm your selection once again by swiping the arrow at the bottom to the right. Once the framework is installed, tap the reboot system button and your device will automatically boot back into Android. The first boot after installing exposed framework will take a long time, easily up to 5 to 10 minutes. So be patient. Once your Galaxy S7 boots into Android, use a file manager of your choice and navigate to the folder where you had installed the exposed installer APK. Tap on it and install it like you would install any other APK. Once the installation is complete, open the app and head over to the framework section from where you can confirm where exposed framework is installed and active on your S7 or not. To install new modules, you can head over to the download section of the app and then search for the modules that you want. Then swipe over to the versions tab and tap on download to download the APK of that module. Once the download is complete, you will be automatically prompted to install it. After the installation is done, you need to manually enable a module. This can be done by going to the module section of the app. Once you enable a module, you will have to restart your device for the changes to take effect. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.